Physiology Related to Anesthesia Important MCQS Presented by Anesthesia with Babar Let's start our presentation. Question number 1. All are the factors that rise intracranial pressure, except Option A is, coughing Option B, sneezing Option C, compression of femoral vein Option D, vomiting Correct answer is, option C. Question number 2. Cranial vault is, rigid structure, which consists dash, percent of CSF. Option A is, 12%. Option B, 80%. Option C, 8%. Option D, 100%. Correct answer is, option C. 8%. Question number 3. Aqueductus salubius is for a mean, between dash and dash. Option A, third and fourth ventricle. Option B, first and second ventricle. Option C, two and D, and third ventricle. Option D, none. Correct answer is, option A. Question number 4. Intracranial pressure will be, maximum in which position? Option A, sitting position. Option B, lateral decubitus position. Option C, lying position. Option D, same in all. Correct answer is, option A. Question 05. Normally, about dash ml of CSF is formed, every day, and an equal amount is absorbed. Option A, 120 milliliters. Option B, 250 milliliters. Option C, 500 milliliters. Option D, 570 milliliters. Correct answer is option C. Question number 6. Major quantity of CSF is formed in Option A, fourth ventricle. Dot option B, lateral ventricle. Option C, Fermine Monroe. Option D, none. Correct answer is option B. Question number 7. Increase in osmotic pressure will dash CSF production. Option A, increase. Option B, decrease. Option C, both. Option D, none. Correct answer is option B. Question number 8. Uric acid is the inorganic component of CSF. Option A, true. Option B, false. Correct answer is option B. Question number 9. The rate of formation of CSF is dash ml per hour. Option A, 3 milliliters. Option B, 0 0.2 milliliters. Option C, 0 0.1 milliliters. Option D, none. The rate of formation of cerebrospinal fluid is 0.3 milliliters per minute, then per hour it is about 18 milliliters. That's why the correct option is option D. Question number 10. Vital capacity minus inspiratory capacity is equal to Option A, inspiratory reserve volume Option B, expiratory reserve volume Option C, tidal volume Option D, residual volume. Correct answer is, option D. If someone have any doubt, they can ask in comment, thank you for watching.